Hello everyone and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival Reforge Eden. My name is Rakuna. Hey Rakuna, I know you had a guest last episode, but why wasn't I introduced? Well, because you didn't ask me to. Well, I would like to know who this Spanch fella is. Well, he's another YouTuber that does videos and uh, yeah, he's done a lot of content about Empyrean Galactic Survival. Oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah, that YouTube crap. Yeah, that YouTube crap. And he, I, I think you'd get along with uh, one of his fellas, uh, one of his crewmates. Oh yeah, who's that? His name is Gerald. Uh, okay, maybe I'll get to meet him one day. Yeah, sure. And another thing. Uh, what's that? Where the frickin' hell is Marv? Oh my god. Uh, I, I think he might have been blown to bits and still hasn't come back through the clone chamber. You bring him back as soon as possible, alright? Otherwise, you'll have to answer to me. I'm not scared of you. Well, you should be. All right, so I did a little bit of preparation. Uh, I repaired the behemoth, which uh, took quite a bit of damage when fighting all of these uh, <laughs> Zyrex ships. Uh, me and Spanch had a lot of fun there doing that. It was quite interesting, and I insisted. Now, we board a Torvira while it's still alive, because, uh, you know, everybody goes after Torviras and cores them. Yeah, nobody just immobilizes them and actually boards a damn thing. But uh, yeah, I wanted to give you a little bit of that experience. Too bad the lag was kind of a, a pain in the butt. I wish it was something I could have done about that, but uh, yeah, I guess not. So now our journey takes us to Progenitor. Uh, now what I need to do is I get to get to the beacons and start making my way all over this this line of beacons right here until I get to the uh, Andromeda Decay Gate. So let's start warping away. I've gotten myself a little bit of extra pentaxid to be able to make the jump. And then what's going to happen is I'm probably going to be uh, salvaging the behemoth to bring it over on the other side. I know, I know. It's going to be a freaking pain in the butt. But at least I'll be able to spawn it over on the other side. And I, I just hope everything goes well with that. So I'll see you at the Andromeda Gate. Um, I just did my first jump in this is what i got to this is this is the view that i have and i gotta say it is just magnificent i just had to stop by and at least show you this and i suspect that all the other gates is going to be the same thing anyways let's proceed with our journey You know what, I've done a couple of jumps here, and I, I've just realized, why the frickin' hell am I jumping to each and every one of them, when I could just jump all the way over here? I, I, I can do that distance. Okay, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You're saying that I can't do that jump to 75 light years, when my warp drive... Obviously, jump range is up to 70. Why can't I? And also, with all of the other added jump range that I've gotten from the UCH, why isn't this possible? Uh, maybe they, uh, maybe I missed something. All right, let's just do a two jump at a time this time. Yeah. And this is it. This was the last jump, so there's got to be something up ahead. Probably the gate is, like, further away. I guess I got to do, like, a... A little bit of flying around there. And this doesn't have the upgraded uh, scanner, so... What happens if I look at the map? Uh, the map gives me a big whole lot of nothing. Yay! Alright, let's just keep on flying until I spot something. Ooh! Alright, got something over there. It looks like it's Krill. This doesn't make sense. Okay, so it's a security satellite, and that's not what I want to do. I don't want to mess around with the Krill. That's not what I came here to do. I just want to find whatever it is I have to find over here, which is probably, like, the gate. Uh, well, sometimes you do things that make you feel like a real silly goose. Uh, I've been flying all around this freaking place and wasn't finding anything. I thought the gate would be here. And then I did the mistake of looking at my map and noticed that it you know you just had to go over here i feel stupid i feel i feel extremely stupid i uh oh, you know what never mind let's just go there <laughs> you're an idiot Rakuna. shut up bart well, as I arrive, at least on the minimap, it shows me the location of where I need to go. So all I need to do is pretty much, uh, you know, set course to that direction and let the behemoth uh, float us there. Yeah, let's let's float. Ancient progenitor gate, 10 kilometers away. Oh, Marv, so, you, so you're back. Yes, I died in that unfortunate event, your fight versus the Tovera. You could have been a little bit more careful. Well, I mean, that thing had lots of boom boom power. Stop speaking like a child. I'll speak however I want. 
Progenitor gate, seven kilometers away. And there it is. Let's uh, slow down a little bit. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Oh my god, that thing is dark. It is kind of hard to spot. Whoa, okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, the view isn't all that great now. Now let's park this ship a little closer so I can go and check it out for a little bit. Be careful out there, Rakuna. I'll be careful. Don't worry about it. Yes, be careful, Rakuna. Ah, oh, thanks, Marv. Yeah, glad to see you're okay. The only thing that's hurt is my pride. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. So it is time. Let's get out there and uh, let's see what uh, what that is all about. So, all right, we got this long, beautiful structure, except it doesn't seem like it's really active or anything. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, let's go talk to these uh, little thingy shigamabobs. The ancient warp gate hums with power, but has not yet been activated. Activating it should open a portal for personal travel to the Decay Star Cluster. Uh, activate the war ancient warp gate? The ancient warp gate hums with power and appears... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. It's been thoroughly active. What the freaking hell? Oh, uh, don't uh, don't destroy the gate. We need that thing, idiot. All right, turning off thrusters and oh, there you go. Hey, I wow, whoa, that is insane. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, can I fit the ship in there? That would be a lot easier. All right, let's go through just to see what's through. You have arrived in the star cluster known as Decay. This area of space is a work in progress and not yet complete. You are free to explore it, but you have to bring resources with you through the warp gate. You will need your progenitor translation key created from the research at the UCH vessel. Really? Really? That was left in the frickin' Charon. Oh my god. Uh, I hate you so much. Okay, location Decay Star Cluster. Difficulty hard. The Decay Cluster is full of ancient and dead stars. Too far to, for standard communications. You will need to establish a communication relay to make contact with the UCH command. Establish a small space station near the ancient warp gate of the Decay Andromeda Gate to act as a communication relay. You will first need to place down a base starter block and then add the following to it. Generator, fuel tank, and antenna. You will need to bring resources with you through the gate. See? Well, that's a piece of cake. I mean, I could actually do that from uh, the other side. Oh, this this gate is awesome. I love this gate. <laughs> All right, so basically, yeah, I got to get a communication uh, established. Can I fit the Darius through there? Probably make one from my <laughs> probably wake one from the blueprint. A new one. It has a warp drive capability. Maybe it's going to be able to do uh, orbiting the surrounding planets. I don't know. So I got some progenitor technology fragments from coming here. Ooh, maybe I can actually do something with that. Uh, it's to see if I can bring all of these through. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to put some backpacks, boosters, and have a little bit more inventory space so I can bring it all. Alright, so I suspect with two transportation booster, I should be able to bring anything that I want. Alright, so a little bit of that, and I need a generator and the antenna. There you go, let's just go right back through. Going back through. Everything's fine. I think I'm trying to go through the other, the wrong side. Yeah, all right, this way. You know what? I am glad to see that everything is fine here because I remember seeing a Spanish video when the first time he went through the progenitor gate, I think it was about a year ago. And uh, yeah, he was being attacked uh, a lot by enemies. They were really being dicks. And put that over here. And uh, I think they, yeah, they eventually changed that. Okay, can we transmission? Hello, crack. Can you hear me? We've so the signal, but it low. You made it to decay. What happens? Okay, you believe the AUCH is asking you to investigate the decay star cluster to find out what happened to the progenitors. You will also likely need the progenitor translations key from the UCH. Person. I know that. I know UCH has asked you to investigate what happened to the progenitor, and you're just repeating yourself. Stop repeating yourself. Anyways, I'm gonna have to go get that back from the freaking Charon there, and also I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to destroy the behemoth so I can spawn one over here. Hours of fun. Hours of fun. And I believe, uh, yeah, I will see you after that because there's, it's gonna take, it's gonna take some time. So I'll see you then. All right, so I am back on the Charon, and, uh, guess it's time to get started. Ugh. This is gonna be fun. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retrieve all of the freaking blocks, every little freaking thing there, and just chug him. Just chug him inside of the blueprint factory so I can bring another one back in. Uh, yeah, many hours of fun, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just that I don't feel like going and hunting for some more superconductors and all that. That, uh, that took enough time uh, on its own. I think it would be just faster to do it like this. So, yeah, I'll see you back on the other side of the Andromeda Gate. Uh, all right, so it has been brought over to the other side. Finally, at last... Uh, it was, uh, it was a pain in the butt. All right, can you please just go up there? Uh, I don't feel like sticking around here and having trouble just climbing my stairs just after I completely transferred everything on the other side. Yeah, let's, let's go for it. So first jump will be to Beacon, uh, J and, uh, no, you know what? I'm just going to do a double jump. Yeah, screw that. And away we go. Yep. Amazing view. Move on! So, you know what, never mind all of the rest of these beacons. I think I could make it, like, to one of these uh, other stars that we got in the vicinity. Now, there's one over there which is bright green, and I'm curious as hell to see what lies there. So, let's just go for it. And this is it. Oh my god, look at that thing. It's very, very green. I think we're in the Green Lantern universe. This is, this is what it is. And uh, we got a couple of planets around. I better check the info because I, I don't want to land on a planet with uh, high gravity. Otherwise, I don't think that the behemoth could land on it successfully. Uh, now, that I know that we got like Decayed Desert. We got all sorts of planets. Difficulty Ultra. Decayed Shattered. This one has some... Uh, Gravitational anomaly. Uh, luckily, I brought in the Darius. Yeah, the Darius is inside here with me. It's not as expensive as uh, the Behemoth to bring in, so bringing uh, that is just a piece of cake. And if I want to, I can bring up any other ship. So, uh, Alpha Seven Four One Four. Hey, let's let's go for it. Ooh, this this planet looks ominous as f. This is insane. Yeah, it's it's very green, super green. Now, for now, I'm not picking up any alien life form or any progenitor ships, which is okay. It's okay. I don't think the behemoth would have any trouble taking care of it. Uh, right now, all I know is I'm running low on pentaxid after all this freaking warping. It uses a whole bunch. It's insane. But I did bring a little ship uh, just for that purpose. And actually, on the behemoth, I could actually add a drill if I wanted to. So I know I might need some resource gathering, so... Uh, yeah, I brought the Darius, and I also brought in the Mole Rat. Uh, it's got lots of lasers. Lots and lots of lasers. So I'll be able to uh, go on mining expeditions. No problem with this little puppy. There you go. Get all of this uh, juicy pentaxid. We're going to be needing some. So, you know, fill up your cargo box with it. Go ahead. Do it. All right. So that little particular asteroid job is done. So uh, let's head over to the planet. I'm kind of curious to see what's down there. Now I'm going to bring the Darius because it's uh, pretty efficient in high gravity situations. And it's uh, it's it's still my my one of my favorite ships. Yeah, the Darius has some ass kicking capabilities and uh, can withstand any gravity planet. Now, if I'm looking here, I can actually build myself the Voidium Extractor. Yeah, so if I ever find any, I I'm going to be able to use that and collect my Voidium. So I might as well build that right now and maybe stick it in my inventory. So if I ever encounter any, uh, yeah, I could start collecting that. And uh, then eventually, I suspect that that'll help me uh, build some of the more advanced technologies, which is going to be sweet. All right, so this is as close as I dare go with the Behemoth. Uh, now let's take the Darius out for a spin. Oh, this planet looks messed up. This planet looks messed up as hell. Uh, are there floating asteroids on the planet, or is that a game bug? I don't think these asteroids are supposed to be here. <laughs> I think something terribly wrong happened. Oh, hi! We got disruptors, we got heat signatures, we got lots of progenitors uh, around here. Uh, yeah, time to be extremely careful, and oh my god, look at these guys, they're just firing crap at me. What is that? What are you firing? Oh, these guys look like they can take a freaking hit. Don't run away from me, you started this, you jerk. They're firing their laser crap at me, and I don't like it. Oh my god, here they are, here they are. 
Uh, please stop shooting me. So when they actually hit me, they bring down my shields a little bit. Nothing too much to worry about. Let's reload my minigun there, and I think I'll have a better chance to kill them with that. Oh, you're stuck. You're dead. You're basically a sitting duck. Oh, no, stop. Stop moving. I mean, I might need to go to pilot mode to be able to <laughs> attack them. They are silly. Stop moving around. Let me shoot you there for a minute. All right, so I killed one of them. Um, wonder if these are going to give me some special loots. Let's go down there, down in the pit. And, and see what we can get out of this. Ugh, maybe this isn't the best idea. Am I going to be able to go back inside of my ship with the whole gravity situation? Let's go as deep as I can go. All right, let's do this. Drop! Up. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. No, it wasn't worth it. Damn it! What about you? All right, so this isn't worth it. Uh, yeah. Let's get my jetpack out. Oh, so this planet is hot. It's hot as hell. Oh my god, okay, I just managed to get inside of my ship now. Uh, I need to get out of here, please. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, th I think I might have gotten myself stuck a little bit. Just a tad. So I didn't pay attention. This planet is hot as hell. Now, please get out of this situation. Get out! Get out. No, what? Darn it. I'm gonna have to dig my way out of here somehow. Without getting outside too long because I'm gonna cook. Well, progenitor space looks very promising. How am I getting iron out of this? Okay, whatever. Okay, yeah, I was getting a lot of heat over here. Uh, could you please move, sir? You're kind of in the way. Please die. Thank you. At least I'm able to get out of this little sticky situation. Although there is high gravity, the ship can pretty much withstand anything. Uh, I just noticed, though, that going backwards is not the best for this one. You know... I would have felt better if I had the Chahon with me. That would have gotten a lot better. Okay, so we got heat signatures uh, just around. We got a lot of, lot of ships there. Now, what I want to go and explore is some of these POIs. Like, wh what is this thing? It's an unknown structure. Thank you. Yeah, I know it's unknown, but uh, are you holding something interesting? Do you have anything for me? Unknown structure? Apparently not. All right. So basically, we're just getting like a lot of drones and gunships. That's all that's happening. And uh, okay, this base, this base has something. This base has lots of defenses. Holy crap! So I, I suppose this is our target. Yeah, with a, a whopping, <laughs> beautiful view. It's gonna be very interesting. Now I hope I'm not doing this for nothing. Please just let me do this for a freaking reason. Let's take down these defenses. Holy crap! Well, that's two at a time. Uh, are you are you dead as well? Yeah, I think so. All right, backing off, backing off. You guys are doing a number on my shields, and I don't like this. Really don't. Uh, <laughs> freaking really, floaty asteroids. Are you are you supposed to be there? What happens if I drive through you? Oh, I can't. You are there. You are really. Really on the planet. This is weird stuff going on right there. But it, it's cool. All right, shields are back up. Uh, let's charge this again. You know what? I feel like I'm going to see better if I remove the flashlight. Uh, the spotlights on the ship. Yeah. All right, there's another one of them. So these guys have a freaking weakness. If I just suit the structure, they destroy. Yeah, you too. Get down. Die, you filthy things. <laughs> This is just too easy. Oh, thank God for that. Structural integrity sucks on that thing. All right, let's get out of here. Shields are almost down. I don't want to lose a Darius. All right, let's do some rotating <laughs> maneuvers and that absolutely don't do anything on a high gravity planet. They, it doesn't work as well. Always stop shooting that red crap at me. Please, progenitor enemy, sir. Yeah, these guys are just everywhere. Everywhere. Damn. I might need to bring another Chahon type ship. That would that would come in handy for plants like these. Alright, what happens if I shoot my lasers? It's gonna do the same thing. Might as well use lasers instead of rockets for these. Yep, down you go. You too, you filthy green spitting piece of crap. Get over here. Yep, you too. You too. Alright, I'm still getting a little bit of damage over here, but uh, not as bad. 
Just gonna let my shields recharge and then we'll be good for a last run at it. And then maybe I'll be able to go inside and see what's what? Go inside. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Now over here, instead of being 225 degrees, it's minus 74. Will you freaking make up your mind? Whatever, whatever, dude. All right, let's go in. We got, we got some drones that are kind of stuck in the building. Uh, is there any more freaking defenses over here? Right, let me choose these plasma drones there. Let it, let's get them out of the way. Uh, thankfully, they're dumb and getting stuck inside of the structure. I could just get rid of them easily. Hi, you down as well, please, sir. Gunship, thank you. And uh, you as well. Yeah, that's it. Ah, uh, look at that. You made me reload. How dare you? Are these loot crates at the bottom? Look at that. Let's go and uh, go in a little closer and see if I can kind of check this out. Hi, what are you? Ooh, progenitor technology fragments. Oh, those are worth it. A few of them. Hello, three more. Yeah, if I do this real quick there, I'm, I'm not affected by temperature though. Hi, another three. Oh, thank you. Gosh, golly, all of that. And yeah, let's just send those over now. And you, my friend, there's another three. There you go. So that gives me a grand total of 11 just by doing this. And to tell you, the defenses were a real freaking joke, though. Now, there are some other loot crates around here. Uh, yeah. I want to go and check those out. But first of all, I just want to check these again. I want to see. Because I, I got a feeling. Wait a second. Helmet on, please. Thank you. Ow. Let's see. I got a feeling like some of these are gonna give me some extra loot. What the frick? Oh, there's fire rain. Apparently, fire rain is not good for my character. He doesn't like it. Uh, plasma. Yeah. Was... Got a little bit of stuff. Nothing super fancy. And I'm getting totally irradiated here. Uh, yeah. Radiation is is bad. Let me send some of that stuff over right now. Yeah, I know I got radiation. I'm going to go back and take care of that afterwards. There's just some goodies over here I want to pick up. All right, let me jump back in. Please, thank you, kind sir. Get, go, go, crouch, do something, get inside. Yeah, so now, uh, wait, <laughs> not, maybe not the best view to see what the hell I'm doing. But if I'm looking over here, oh my god. Okay, yeah, I see that we got a uh, loot up here. That is, that is an epic loot there. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to go, <laughs> me trying to get that thing. I don't know if I could destroy it. I can attach this over here, and then I, I shoot the damn thing. Can I go and pick it up afterwards? God, I got to put my inventory back because I kind of changed everything around there when we was uh, moving stuff. Uh, alien loot. Oh, my God. I got to go over there and try to pick it up. Stupid. No, don't fall! Don't fall, I say! Ow, broke a leg. Damn it! This is a freaking joke. How do I go there? Alright, lights. Lights. You gotta go through the middle. Alright. So, I gotta be careful when I jump here because it's just terrible. And, uh, yeah, right now... Uh, ship, please just fall down because uh, I I'm gonna die. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of radiation here. It's just silly. And you, I can't really turn off the power so you come down here. Otherwise, you're defenseless. Let me just take care of these thing first. There. Bye. Be gone. What are you shooting at? Where's that thing over there? That thing is, like, really far away. All right, Darius. Fall down. Oh, maybe not drop on my head exactly, but, uh... Yeah, you know what? I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. <laughs> it's just a jump in the right place here. Elyon? Elyon? I think I'm stuck inside a mountain. Elyon! Alright, alright. So I I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I might as well just freaking die on the ground. So at least I can respawn around this place. And uh, there you go. There you go. Die a nice gruesome death. And just come back fully healed and top shape. No, I don't, I don't think spawning at the bottom of a cliff like this is gonna do anything oh my god this is terrible uh, okay got my stuff now let's go back inside of the darius and uh, uh, come on uh right okay yeah just stay here right inside of this thruster uh can you please stop shooting at me ship thank you now yeah you see that you see that there is there is something else with that there is a box and that box must hold 
uh, the secret to life or something like that. I don't know. It's got to hold something really important. So maybe I can kind of burst my way through here. Look at that. Look at that block. It's it's kind of textured differently. There's something going on over here. Uh, differently textured uh, thing. Where are you? So this this is it. Except I, I I can't destroy it. It's an alien block, and I think this place has an admin core. So I really don't know how I'm supposed to get up there, especially on a high gravity planet. Now I suspect that these things will be uh, available on other planets which don't have as high gravity, uh, because really there's no way I'm gonna get there. Really no way. So maybe this wasn't the greatest planet to actually uh, do this. But alas, uh, this uh, planet probably has some other POIs that I'm gonna be able to uh, take on. See, we got some an arrest from deposit that's marked red. Why is it red? Is it my enemy? The deposit is my enemy. I have enough enemies as it is. Okie dokie. What do we have down here? Picking up a uh, unknown structure. Maybe there'll be something interesting here. Or is it just going to be one of these decorative structures that absolutely do sweet nothing? Yeah, it's uh, the big structure of nothingness. Uh, you know what, guys? This has been fun, uh, but my mission is telling me to land on a decayed planet. And this isn't a decayed planet. No, this is a very, very active planet. Maybe the other planets on the system uh, in the area is going to be uh, more adequate for this quest. And maybe uh, for my first stop, I shouldn't have landed on the most chaotic planet there is. Probably in the progenitor space, so... Uh, let's go and warpy warp put some place a little calmer. Yeah. All right. Hi, Behemoth. Please open your butt for me so I can insert the Darius in there. Thank you. Wow. So that was a first chaotic planet to check. I, I it was a lot, a lot. So we're going to go to Dio Dew Talk or however you say it. It'll probably be a little bit more peaceful and maybe it's going to be considered one of the decayed planets. God, there are a lot of asteroids over here. Just look at that. Okay, we got a... I think we got a moon over there and that must be the main planet. And we got a heat signature. I uh, wonder what that's all about. Okay, so it's a data cache? What? Well, we got some Promethium asteroid, Illumin asteroids here, silicone. I suspect that we have a lot of everything. So that would be like an awesome place to refill my uh, my resources, get a little bit more out of it. Okay, no, please don't fire at that thing. Uh, okay, it's one of these data cache. I mean, seriously, why? This is to be able to get the, the, the key, the progenitor key. Why would I want to do that since I already got it? Eh, whatever. I think it's just time to move on. Yeah, if I look on the map here, asteroids, uh, iron, copper, silicon, cobalt, promethium, uh, titanium, aluminum, platinum, pentaxa, this place has everything that I could ever want to mine. Uh, if I look over here, the planet Diotok is a decayed desert, so that must count as one of them. And we got the little nascent moon, but uh, I want to head over to the planet. And it's a 0 0.94 gravity, so there shouldn't be problem landing on a planet with the behemoth. Okay, the progenitor interfaces show up on the map as a distinct signal. Please find it and see if you can access it. It will do. All right, butter thrusters on. So, yeah, I can see it over there. Uh, my god, I can... It's just a small planet. It'll reach it in a matter of seconds. So, this is one of these planets with these uh, markings on it. Okay, what? wait, can you please fly straight, sir? Thank you. And what, what is this thing? Progenitor interface. Okay, that's the thing I gotta go to. And there are some obelisks, uh, probably useless as well. Park the behemoth over here where I can get some sort of a better angle. Okay, thrusters on, turrets on in case we, we're being attacked. Uh, are you going to attack these obelisks or something? Maybe not. All right, let's give it a go. All right, let's just take the Darius so we can get inside the ship more easily. And uh, let's go check out this thing. Uh, okay. I suspect this is some sort of a code, right? Maybe I should get a screen capture of this just in case. There you go. Captured it. Now, I suspect that these all have... Oh my god, okay. There you go. So you got half moon, half moon, double circle, and half moon, which is 6646. Okay. Wrong code. What? Oh, this is another half moon thingy. Oh, okay. Stupid me. 6647. All right. There you go, that's how we do it. Now let's go check out the other one. 
Oh, hi! Hey, how you doing? Uh, didn't know you there were people over here. Heard footsteps there, and uh, I didn't think you'd come over and uh, say hi. But, uh, you know, hi! Hey, uh, is this how you're gonna greet me on your planet, sir? That is kind of rude. There you go. That's what you get for being rude with me. Uh, progenitor fragment technology? Oh my god. You should just walk around here and kill some gigas. Alright, what is this? Uh, this double circle, uh, sewer grill, a dotted circle in circle. Alright, it was easy peasy. So it's a four, three, two, one. Ooh. Is it me or do they often use the same codes? Aha! I am a genius! Oh, more golems! Hi! Or gigas. Hi. How's it going? Yeah, having a nice day. You trying to you trying to hurt me, but it ain't working. Yeah, maybe your attempts are all in vain. Yeah, give me those. Thank you. Wonder how many of these I'm gonna need to actually be able to make anything useful out of them. All right, let's check out the other code. Circle that, that, and that. Okay, that's a one, two, and seven. I don't know, you gotta check the last one. One, two, eight, seven. All right, let's do this. In flippity. What are, you, what are you shooting at? What are you? Oh, is there another one? Hi. Oh, I think each time I get one, you appear. Oh. So you're kind of a progenitor protector and you killed me. You did a good job there. Uh, Darius, <laughs> you're not doing a good job, though. And uh, what about you, Behemoth? Oh, freaking crap. Did you lose power? Oh, no, that's right. I turned off the thrusters. Uh, please, Tensor, let me retrieve my gear. Okay, please don't shoot the Darius. Thank you. Okay. Oh, more progenitor technology fragments. Mm, sweet. All right, last code is over here. Uh, okay, that's a two. That's a one. That's a nine. And the last one I gotta check out. That's a five. All right, easy. Five, two, one, nine. Wrong code. Where did I mess up? Oh, it's an eight at the end. Five, two, one, eight. There you go. Whoa. What did I blow up? Hi. Hey, dude. How's it going? Yeah. I killed all your brothers. You are the noble guardians of this, uh, this, these ob novelists or whatever. Hi. Uh, you failed at your job. But, you know, A for effort, dude. Okay, so I heard a boom boom. So what was the boom boom all about? What boom boomed? Uh, was it something up there? Uh, Behemoth, you're kind of firing at at this you're just wasting bullets could you please stop that okay so whatever happened probably happened at the, the top of this i guess this is where i gotta go now so yeah let's just park the darius over here you should be you should be fine here right i'll be able to make that jump not too hard all right so uh press f to talk to the watcher Ooh. translation matrix active command at view data time time is running out there is still so much to do our children fight our children's children fight, and we hide. Beware what awaits you, child of a child. Do not enter the sphere. Do not repeat our mistakes, Rakuna. You have been warned. The nine cores have been activated, but you are one step closer to your own oblivion. How will you choose to survive when every choice leads to your own destruction? The log ends. Okay, downloading the data. You have received a warning message addressed directly to you from the progenitors. Whether uh, some of them survived or if it's just an advanced form of AI, you do not know. Embedded in the data, you've collected the hidden codes. You should transit them through the UCH command. Uh, fine. And uh, does that mean I need to go back to the frickin' satellite? Warp to the Decay and Drumna gate and return to your communication relay station on the Decay side of the gate to transmit your data back to UCH command. Oh, poop. All right, I'll have, I'll do that. Okay, so yeah, progenitor warning, death, death, death awaits and all that, blah, blah, blah. You're, you're not scaring me. You're not scaring me one bit. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go uh, head back to the progenitor gateway, the Andromeda gateway, and return all this information to the UCH via satellite. I don't know why I need to tell them at this point, but uh, all of that will have to wait till the next episode. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, don't forget to nudge that little like button and I will see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Rakuna out.